Her son was born with a rare skin condition on his back, but she's called the markings angel wings. Every mom remembers the moment she held her baby for the first time, looking down at the swaddled newborn with the most love she's ever felt in her heart. But for Stephanie Brown from Fenstonton in the UK, that moment of bliss was overshadowed when she noticed something unusual on her baby's back. The new mom had spotted something not quite right on her son Oliver's skin. It was at birth when he was given to me that I noticed that there was a purple mark, she told SWNS TV. Brown then realized that the mark stretched all the way down her son's back. At first though, she thought it was just a bruise, but then she found out instead that it was a large mole. In the grand scheme of things, being born with a mole didn't set Oliver apart from the fray. Indeed, approximately one in every hundred babies is born with such markings. These moles may shift color and shape over time, and they can appear and disappear too. And so when a mole appears on a newborn baby, doctors don't worry too much. But Oliver's mole was much larger than the average fleck or birthmark. In fact, it stretched the whole way down from the base of his neck, across his shoulders, and down his spine. Consequently, doctors knew this was something out of the ordinary. Soon after he was born, medics diagnosed Oliver with congenital melocytonic nivy, CMN, the condition which causes large moles and birthmarks like Oliver's to develop affects one in every hundred people. These moles are different than the average birthmark as they normally measure more than a centimeter in diameter and grow as the child grows too. Unfortunately, this condition can leave children vulnerable to the most dangerous types of skin cancer. Most moles do not raise a person's chances of growing melanoma, but the largest, like Oliver's, put a person at risk, according to the British Association of Dermatologists. These large moles can also cause problems if they spread, which puts Oliver in a particularly delicate situation. His mole is on his spine, so any movement up toward the brain could damage his nervous system and potentially threaten his life. Of course, Oliver's doctors know this and have kept a close eye on the boy since he was born. Brown told SWNS TV that at six months she took her baby for an MRI to make sure there weren't any complications from growths on his brain or spine. Fortunately, that was all given the all clear, she continued. Now she and her son check in with doctors every three months to make sure his skin is still its healthiest. The Browns are also diligent in their protection of their son's skin since he's so susceptible to cancer. In fact, they rely on a sunsuit and prescription strength sunblock to prevent Oliver's mole from any damaging sun exposure. Despite all this, Stephanie maintains a positive attitude about her son's diagnosis and the extra motherly duties it entails. Oliver's one of the fortunate ones, she told Mason's News Service. Some children are riddled with moles and even get them on their eyelids. Our experience so far has been a positive one, she told SWNS TV. It's not always the case with others. I'm sure, but for us, it's been plain sailing. It's just purely cosmetic from his skin point of view, and obviously we're monitored every three months for any changes in the skin, so we should be quite good. Brown told the TV station that Oliver has yet to really notice or feel different because of his CMN. As he's quite young, it hasn't been such a problem, she said, but she does expect questions and concerns from her son. Luckily, however, she's ready with an explanation thanks to the unique appearance of his mole. Oliver's once purple mole is softened to a light shade of brown and is spread across his shoulders in a shape that resembles a pair of superhero angel wings, according to his mom. And she hopes the distinctive shape will make her son feel proud of his skin. As he gets older, we would hope he can accept himself for who he is. We've got all these bits of ourselves that we do not like and we have to accept them, she told Mason's News Service. And in order to further build him up, Oliver will receive encouragement from Caring Matters Now. The UK charity supports those who suffer from CMN and their families. They're fantastic, Stephanie told the TV station. The work they do is fantastic. The family has already been involved in raising money for the organization too. Oliver has a seven-year-old brother, Josh, and a charity 10K race was held at his school to benefit Caring Matters Now. The charity needs this type of attention so that new moms are aware of the skin condition. Indeed, Lucy Hardwidge of Caring Matters Now told the Daily Mail just how vital early diagnosis is for children who have extra-large birthmarks and moles so that they can avoid sun damage and skin cancer. She also lauded Stephanie's approach of telling her son he now has angel wings. 
When children have interesting shaped birthmarks, it's a great way of telling them about the condition and letting them know they're special. Stephanie agrees and hopes her son will be able to look past his CMN. He's wonderful the way he is and I'm sure in the dark times he'll realize this, she told Mason's news service. For now though, he's getting along just fine and she imagines it'll stay that way. He's lucky in the sense that he's such a cutie pop, everyone seems to think so and I think people will overlook his condition. Please share this video with your friends below.